Hello everyone. If you have been watching my recent videos, you will have seen that I made just over 15 billion credits in 12 hours by taking out the Thargoids at the Spire site. In this video, I'm going to go over how I then spent just 4 more hours and doubled that 15 billion. This was the last time I looked at my transactions tab before leaving, but I did kill a few more Thargoids after this. I actually ended up with a grand total of 15,682,130,000 credits worth of combat bonds. So how did I then double that payout? It's actually something you can do with one of the power play factions. There are a few things you should know though before trying this method. To be clear up front, you will need an Imperial Cutter in order to complete this method in around 4 hours, the way that I did. You can do it in smaller ships, but it will take exponentially longer to complete. You will also need to spend a total of 100 million credits on fast tracking the power play supplies. I should also warn you that although this method does work to double your payout, it is very tedious, annoying and boring to do, so you will need all of your patience. I only did this because I had such a large amount of combat bonds and doubling them was worth the effort for me in this case. What I did was go into the Galactic Powers section in your right hand HUD panel, select the Empire Power, A. Lavigny Duval, and pledge allegiance to them. Once that's done, if you look in the control section of the power screen, it will tell you what you need to do to earn merits supporting their control systems. I need to deliver garrison supplies to one of their control systems. You can collect these from contacts in the power's capital system, Camadeno. So I then headed over to Camadeno in my cutter, which is fully kitted out for cargo and can carry 792 tons. In Camadeno, I docked at Cooper Hub. Once there, I went into the contacts to see the power contact where I could collect the garrison supplies to deliver to control systems for them. They only allow you to collect 10 at a time though. However, if you go back into the contact, there is an option to fast track your next quota. This is the option that I used. This then allows you to collect another 10 of the garrison supplies. You then keep doing the same thing again and again. Fast track your next quota and then collect the next 10 garrison supplies. Be careful that you don't buy the wrong items by mistake as there are corruption reports on the same page that can easily be collected by mistake. Which is bad UI design but that's another discussion. If you think you may have bought some of those by mistake then you can check in your right hand HUD panel under inventory. You should only be carrying the garrison supplies. After you make sure you are just collecting the garrison materials, then just keep fast tracking them and collecting them again. This is where the masses of patience comes in. I don't know if you noticed, but these buttons at the bottom of the confirmation menu are actually the wrong way around. The one that says back actually takes you back to the power contact main page and the one that says back to main page actually takes you back to the page you were just on. More great UI design for you to marvel at. I then carried on doing that until my cutter's 792 tons of cargo was full of the garrison supplies. You do all this to increase your rating with this power play faction. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. I then set off to the Aden system, 
which was the nearest controlled system that had somewhere with large landing pads. This turned out to be Ackerman Camp, so I headed there. I headed into the contacts again to see the power contact where I could deliver the 792 tons of garrison supplies. Then I headed back to Camadino and over to Shijin Market. Here I went back into the contacts to see the power contact where I could collect more of the garrison supplies. You then repeat collecting and delivering the 792 tons of garrison supplies 13 times. This will give you the 10,000 merits that you need to earn with the power within any given week in order to be promoted to rating 5 at the next tickover. The weekly power play tickover is on a Thursday morning at around 7am GMT. After this has happened they will have then increased your rating to 5. Once you are at rating 5, you can then hand in any combat bonds or bounties at one of their systems and you will get double the payout. I did the 4 hours of deliveries on a Wednesday evening and the next morning after the tick over I was at rating 5. As you can see here, my 15.6 billion credit payout then turned into a 31.3 billion credit payout. This whole process is definitely a lot of work and is very tedious, but if you have collected a large amount of combat bonds or bounties, it may well be worth the effort to double them. That's all for this tutorial folks. If you enjoyed the video or it was helpful, then please do hit the like button as it will help the video get seen by others. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Until next time, see you out in the Black Commanders, 07.